Hello, I'm going to teach you how to play Tell Me Why by Neil Young from the album After the Gold Rush. Uh, this song is in D standard tuning, uh, so it's just a standard guitar tuning but down a whole step. And the notes are D, G, C, F, A, D. Real quick, I'm going to run through the chords. Um, hopefully you know most of these already. We start off with the C chord, just standard C chord, 3rd fret of the A, 2nd fret of the D, open G, 1st fret of the B, open E. Then we go on to the D chord, which is just open D string, 2nd fret of the G string, 3rd fret of the B string, 2nd fret of the E string. The next chord is A minor 7, it's just open A, 2nd fret of the D, open G, 1st fret of the B, open E. Uh, and then a standard G chord, which is just a third fret of the E, second fret of the A, open D, open G, open uh, B, and then a third fret of the E string. All right, a couple more uh, more chords that we're going to look at that are in the song. There's a B minor seven chord in the song. It's uh, barred um, across the bottom five strings on the uh, second fret. Um, so we're on the second fret of the A string, fourth fret of the D string, second fret uh, from the bar on the G, and third fret on the uh, B, and second fret with the bar uh, on the E string. Then there's a regular E minor chord, which is just open E, second fret A, second fret D, open G, open uh, B, open E. Okay, uh, and then there's one other uh, chord we're going to throw in there, which is uh, this alternate way of playing G. We're not going to throw in the third on the second fret of the A. Instead, we're going to use our ring finger, put that on the third fret of the E string, and then our pinky on the third fret of the high E string. Uh, everything open except that A is deadened. And then with uh, these two fingers, we're going to... Uh, add in a sixth and a suspended. So we're adding in our middle finger on the second fret of the uh, D string and then our uh, pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. And he rocks that back and forth from the G. Okay, um, so getting right into the song. So it starts off with the C chord, but we have a walk up from um, here, uh, G on the 3rd fret, it, the walk up is 3rd fret of the E, open A, 2nd fret A, 3rd fret A. Alright, now uh, the strumming pattern kind of goes like this throughout the song. You're plucking uh, the bottom note of the chord uh, in the C here, and then a down up stroke, and then you're going to do a hammer on. Uh, from the open D to the second fret of the D, right into your chord. Uh, and then right off the bat in the beginning of the song, here's the hardest part of the song uh, for most people to get, which is uh, this next hammer on. After you do this, that's what it's going to sound like. So once you get that hammer on on the D string, immediately move your middle finger over to the second fret of the uh, G string. Kind of looks like this. And then with your pinky, we're going to hammer on up to the fourth fret of that G string from the second fret while holding the rest of that C shape. Um, and let's just take a look at the bottom three strings while we're doing this. Uh, we have second fret, first fret open, and then we're hammering on from that second fret of the G up to the fourth fret of the G while kind of strumming up on top. And then we're going to walk back down to the second fret and then open G. So it sounds... Okay? When you put it all together... Alright? Um, so once you practice that a few times, get that. That's the hardest part in the song, in my opinion. Uh, and then we're moving on to the D chord. Uh, we're going 
to play uh, the bottom notes are just the open D, open A while strumming the chord. All right, and then we move on to the A minor seven, which is we're plucking the bottom notes, the open A and the open E. And then we're moving on to that G chord. But this time we're gonna hammer on uh, the third just like we did with the C chord. So on the A string, play it open, hammer on up with your first finger to the second fret of the A and strum with it. So you're going to do that twice, and that's the verse. <clears throat> and then we're going to move on to the uh, pre-chorus here, which goes right to the D. So you're coming out of this. Uh, Racing along in his pride. Same thing with the D, but only once. And then we're right into the A minor 7. So tell me why on that A minor 7 chord. And then uh, we're walking down this C chord. It's gonna sound like this. Tell me why. So let's take a look at that little lick. So you're doing one time on the D chord, one time on the uh, A minor seven, and then you're walking this C down. You're starting with your C shape, and then you're going to the second fret with your middle finger. Everything else open other than that low E. And then down to the A minor 7. And then we're going to that alternate G we talked about. And then that G6, uh, G add 6 suspended. Alright. So the last time you're just going from the A minor 7 to the C to the G. Alright, and then the chorus, we're doing a new chord, which is G minor 7, uh, sorry, G major 7, and that's just 3rd fret on the low E and 2nd fret on the high E, not playing that A string, we're uh, just blocking with our finger, and it sounds like that. So, is it hard to make arrangements with your C chord when your D left to me? C, B minor 7, E. Alright, and when we get down to that E, we're going to do uh, the same kind of hammer on pattern uh, going from the open A up to the second fret of the A string with the E minor chord. And then we're walking up on that A up to the C chord. And then there's a little instrumental section. So it sounds like this. And then we're into the instrumental section. Uh, or the second verse, either one. Uh, it just repeats second verse, pre-chorus, chorus, then the instrumental section. So uh, just real quick. Is it hard to make arrangements with yourself? then we're back into the verse. Now, um, like I said, that just repeats, but when you go into the instrumental section, a couple new things happen. Um, so you're gonna start off the same way with your hammer-ons on the C. Same thing with the D, first time, but this time you're gonna walk down from the third fret of the A, second fret of the A, down to your A minor seven, so. instrumental you're going to then hammer on of the uh in the a minor seven you're going to hammer on open d up to the second fret of d and then open
open D while holding that first finger there. And then you're going to hammer on open A up to second fret of A, coming down to our G. Okay, so that's that's uh, open A, open D, hammer on to the second fret, open D, open A, hammer on to the second fret of A, to the G chord, and then we're going to do a couple more hammer-ons. So that's open A, hammer on to second fret, open D, hammer on to second fret, and then open G string. And then back down to the low G and strum. And it sounds like this. So the instrumental section, if you want to listen to it, sounds like this. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, pretty much how the song ends. It, it repeats that instrumental thing again. So I hope you found that helpful and have fun playing Tell Me Why by Neil Young.